Mm -hmm. Yo, hello, people. Um, so today I'm just going to try and uh, give a bit of inside info into Hovers um, as to what they've done to them and uh, hopefully shed a bit of light on some questions that you might be asking. Um, currently, as it stands, almost every Hover build in exhibition that was made before this update almost does not work for some reason. Um, yeah, they just don't work. Like, so pretty much... All of my exhibition hovers apparently have no hovers, even though quite clearly see there, there's eight hovers here. Um, so yeah, almost, I would imagine almost every exhibition build has uh, no hovers on it um, that's usable anymore. Which kind of sucks because there's a lot of goods builds on the exhibition. Um, but now it kind of means that all the builds in exhibition will be useless unless you tweak them. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. However, there is a new way of making hovers, and that is uh, sideways, which is not on cluster sideways anymore because technically there is no more sideways. There is no need for it because we can now mount hovers sideways, um, or technically, should I say, on any side of the frame, which is kind of cool. Um, so... There's no neat, real need to make sideways hovers anymore, as soon as you can mount them on all sides of the frame. Um, but yeah, that's uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. Cause kind of people have been asking for this for a while. Um, there's almost no need to build hovers now, like sideways builds, like with the cabin uh, this way and the build this way, because um, you can just build a sideways build, but normally if that makes sense. So you can just use the hovers like this and build it forwards, which is also good because it means you don't have to worry about uh, the map or the radar being sideways. Now, I have noticed a few things though, um, and that is some of the things people are asking is like, why are my hovers so tilted? Or um, why are they so, you know, they're just not as stable. Um, now, the first thing is, the hovers in general, like the red ones, um, they actually sit lower to the ground than the blue ones. So these these things are not going to work with these um, because I think, if I remember right, like the blue hovers sit two squares higher now than the uh, red ones. So if all you have a mixed build of red hovers and blue hovers, it's going to be, your build's just going to be wobbly as shit. Um, now also as well the um the way that hovers work now as well is because they're a little bit less stable um i know a few people like to run four hover builds um like sideways builds but the issue with that now is because hovers are really prone to flipping um it makes it almost impossible to run a four hover build without it flipping like it's, it's really easy to flip, especially if you put some top weight on there. Now, um, there is a way of countering it, um, and that's there's, well, there's two reasons actually. Two ways, should I say. Um, the first one is to add more hovers, obvious answer. Um, yeah, as you can see, running a full hover now is, is pretty difficult. Um, the second one is um, just, just there is way basically the way your hovers are set up now the way that is at the moment is is pretty nimble like it's quite thin everything's in line so ideally if for a sideways build or someone who wants to build pretty thin that would be an ideal setup just to have everything kind of all squished together but the way this game works now is that's not a good thing because um there's no stability almost in the way that the hovers work now um you've almost got to make your builds like Pancakes sounds stupid, but that's that's how it's become um, and the only way of working around it is for it to become more spaced out um, now there is some benefits to See now this is going to be harder to flip now because There's more the, the way it's spaced out So rather than everything being tight in one place. It's all it's kind of spread out across the uh, the build so you can still fly with three hovers whereas before i couldn't even fly with two uh, four sorry 
Um, also, as well, if you don't notice, you can actually put hoppers closer together now. I think it used to be maybe like this. I think there was three squares. It might have even been four. Um, but now you can basically have them almost next to each other because the hitbox is smaller. Um, I think they're slightly taller, but the uh, the actual hitness, hitbox of the wide is, is, is not as much. Um, but yeah, that's uh, I guess that's a bonus. Um, <clears throat> now, also as well, is another people, question people ask is... Is there a way to sort out the uh, the leaning of the hovers? Like, for instance, when you're accelerating, and and honestly, it really depends again on your hover setup. Like, if you have more, if most of your hovers are at the front, leaning forward and driving forward isn't going to do much to your kind of uh, downward aim, if if that makes sense. Um, so if my most of my hovers are facing forward like most of my hovers are at the front so me accelerating it's not going to dip my build too much but me like going backwards is going to be completely different whereas if i take these hovers and put them at the back it's going to have an opposite effect and that's going to be that when i accelerate forward my build is going to drag down to the floor more but when i drive backwards it's not going to have as harsh as an effect let me just put three on. So now, if I accelerate forward, there's more of a, a kind of a, a downward increase in force for when you're accelerating forward. But when you accelerate back, the build almost doesn't lift up. Um, and that's literally just because of where the hovers are. You kind of need to almost space hovers out now more across the build. Um, so like, you know, it doesn't matter too much now about you know, mo people like to run six hover builds, um, or used to. Um, running eight hover builds now, or even ten hover builds, isn't a massive issue because the the speed of hovers has been increased. Um, so like, this isn't too bad now. It's you know, it's kind of balanced between the build. Um, but yeah, you just kind of want to you want to balance your hovers out so you've got kind of a mixture of um, some at the front and some at the back, and not sound like don't have them all focused out at the front or the back because as soon as you lose like a few at the front say like if i only had these at the front um if i have a lot of armor at the front as well that doesn't get destroyed as soon as i lose these your build's just going to be digging in the ground um like a like a fucking spade um and yeah the only way of really sorting out is just to balance your hovers out so you have a bit of everything everywhere um you know if you've got your cab at the back uh, and your guns at the back as well then obviously you're gonna your build's gonna be more heavy towards the back um, you know so losing even just two hovers at the front it's not gonna make a massive difference um, but yeah just kind of you just need to balance your hovers out um, because you know at the end of the day now it's hovers work completely different to how they used to don't think it makes a massive difference whether they're facing forwards or sideways um, the only difference it does make is how much damage you take because apparently you actually take more damage now um, from the front than you do from the side which kind of sucks because it means <coughs> it's almost like we're trying to stop um, sideways builds from being the thing but almost sideways builds are pointless now because <coughs> sorry you don't need to really call them sideways builds anymore now it seems like you can rotate the hovers um, so from the side of the hover, um, you take less damage. So basically, if you have a um, hover like this mounted forwards, which would technically be sideways, um, you take, I think, 30% more damage. So I'm doing 15 there. I'm only doing 12 to the side here. Um, so you obviously, you build, your hovers are going to have less health, technically. If you're going to face them like this, um, the only benefit is it's only, like, maybe two or three hitbox wide as opposed to being like uh, maybe five um or four uh, it's obviously it's harder to hit it like this from a distance um so it's going to be more beneficial to have uh your hovers like this if you want to be hitless and you want to keep your builds thin 
like sideways hovers, but um, if you want the durability, then you don't know. You could have like you want your front hovers at the front, um, sideways mounted, and then as you get towards the back, where it doesn't matter too much because you're not going to be hit and hit from the back as much, have them back mounted. Um, I kind of like the idea that you can change everything from side to have them half mixed of back mounted, front mounted, and then side. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it definitely changes the way that you know you, that people need to build hovers now. Um, I remember like old old cross out people used to be able to run like stupid massive hover builds with like uh, heavy cabs on like 20 hover builds and they were absolutely great. Like I don't know if that's what they're trying to get back to. I don't know if that's a good thing, but um, <clears throat> I guess. Uh, it's a step in a different direction, you know, eventually when people work out what, like, the way of building around it is, they, you might, people might be able to make some cool builds out of it. Um, but yeah, pretty much all of the builds, like, on the exhibition now, anything that's pre-posted, pre-update, um, just, just isn't going to work. Like, even this build I made, uh, a, a breaker hover, like, it's already, I only made this, like, two, three weeks ago. And it's already useless now, um, so yeah, it's gonna have to be um, it's gonna have to be pretty much all new builds again from from here, unless you start editing old ones. But um, for the most part, you know, maybe it could be a step in the right direction. Um, I've not really been playing Call of, uh, Call of Duty. I've not been really playing um, Cross how much lately. I've been taking a little break from the game. Been playing the new Call of Duty. That's why I said Call of Duty. Um, so yeah, I've not been playing cross out too much. So if, if I, I kind of do want to get back into it a bit, but I'm a bit disappointed that the only thing is that, like all of these other builds that I had, um, like before they did all this update were like really good meta builds. Um, they weren't all built by me, um, but I some of them were like given to me by other good players, and like almost all of them are useless now. Um, you know, unless I started in them all again. Like these are really, really good mastered builds, and like you know, they've all just been, just been completely destroyed. But yeah, um, that's that's it really. There's not really much else for me to uh, say. Just uh, a little video about the hovers, I guess. A few people have already probably covered it. Um, but <coughs> as a hover main, I could say that it's not necessarily a step backwards. Or a step forwards, um, I'd say more a step sideways to see a different approach to it. Um, but you know, maybe in the future it could uh, it could be it could work out. Um, I guess it's just finding finding builds that work with the right kind of setups, and uh, hopefully someone finds uh, find some good way of using them. I'm gonna keep testing and see what works, try and make some new builds and uh, see see what works the best and uh, hopefully bring some more videos about. Okay, well, till next time, see you later.